G'day guys, Chris here from Spartan, <coughs> and I have the war machine. Here to answer a few questions about the differences between your standard suspension training systems like the TRX and the Jungle Gym, and why you might potentially want to invest in something like the war machine. So, I'm going to sort of feature one single movement, and in this case it's going to be push-up or a pushing movement, and just show you some of the differences that you're going to get when you apply the war machine at its absolute maximum capacity. So the way we do that is by removing the pin on the pulley device. And essentially what that does is set it up so that both handles are now rotating of their own accord nice and freely. This pulley is very, very smooth. So there's hardly any resistance whatsoever. So the first one we're going to show you is just a straight push up. We go out into a nice, this is a fairly easy position, and lowering yourself down straight away, there's that instability in the movement, which is going to force me to contract a lot harder through my shoulders and my chest, and it makes me switch my core on a lot more, just so I can even do just the standard push-up on an incline. Okay, so that's one of the big differences. Straight away, the stability level goes through the roof. The other option that I have now is to start including rotation into my training. What this means is that when I go into a push-up position, I can rotate either to one side or to the other, okay? So if I wanted to go for a one-handed push-up, I can control down, push back up, go to the other side and push back up. So I can actually focus on one side of my body. I can even take that a step further. I can take one hand down and then extend all the way out, extending my body into this full position, pushing back up and coming back to flat. And I can do that on both sides of my body, which starts making training very interesting and a lot of fun. Now, the most extreme way I can apply push-ups into this position is by taking my feet off the ground. And I've got behind me one of the Spartan plier boxes, just the little one, the 13 inch. Just gonna pull that in nice and close. And I'd love to say I'm making this look hard for the sake of the camera, but believe me, I'm not. As soon as you take the platform up a step, it becomes very difficult just to even get into that push-up position. So I'm there now, and lowering right down becomes really difficult to get back up. And doing that for a couple of reps, as soon as you get off balance, let's throw you out. Whoops, sorry about the loud bang. So there you go. Just one movement, push-up or a pushing variation. You add in the rotation or you take out the stability level and straight away your workout becomes entirely different, if not impossible. So that is just one way that the war machine can be used far in advance compared to your standard suspension training systems. If you want more information, if you want to check out some of the other videos we have with war machine, just head to www.kettlebells.nu.